What is for supper driver? Glad you asked. Tonight will be a smoked mesquite pork tenderloin. Just over a pound. Not too big. And it will shrink by the time we're done with it. It shrinks just like bacon shrinks. But we're having that with little baby potatoes with rosemary and garlic on them. And the first time I've made this in a skillet. The potatoes are going to be microwaved and you'll see that. The pork tenderloin is going to be cooked in a skillet, but it's supposed to be either cooked in an oven or on a grill, but I think you can cook anything anywhere, really. So, I'm not going to be told where I can and cannot have my pork. So, we are going to make that happen today. So, bear with me as I go through the video. I'm going to try to piece it together to where it makes sense, but if it doesn't make sense as I'm doing it, at the end I'll do a recap on what I did and how I got there, okay? So, Stay tuned. All right, so what we have is a 1.15 pound, so just over a pound of pork tenderloin. Smithfield uh, slow smoked mesquite flavor. Open her up here. It already smells really damn good. So I've cleaned my board here. Okay, so now that we've got her opened up have everything here the whole purpose and uh, what we're about to do is cut it open we're going to butterfly it and the reason we're doing that is because it calls for either oven cooked or grill cooked and it says if you're going to cook it on the grill you need to cook butterfly open so that everything gets cut appropriately So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just cutting as down the middle as possible. Okay, so we have it split. And the next step is to put it in the skillet. If you haven't seen it already in the camera, I like to use Lowry's, seasoned salt, and pepper. I also, as a backup, have Old Faithful here. Sweet Baby Ray's. So, that's just in case Sometimes the seasoning on these guys get, it smells really good, but when you cook it, it just, just it doesn't stick. So before I put this in the pan, I'm actually gonna season this. With Lowry's seasoned salt. And some pepper. heavier on the pepper. I'm a, I like heavy pepper. But this is of course at your discretion. Okay, so so far the only thing we've done is open the package, butterfly it open, and in your truck I suggest you doing it on a, on a board here. Get a board. This was, I believe, a $4 purchase at Ikea, but do it on a board and season it, and then we're going to get the, uh, the we're going to 
get the skillet ready. But the reason you want to put this on a board is so you can set this to the side somewhere in your front seat or whatever without it getting all over the place. Because you see it's not dripping or anything. So it'll be all right for a couple of minutes. All right, let's get the skillet going. Okay, so now we've got the electric skillet here. We've got it turned up just to warm it up. Got it set on, I'm going to set it on 300. Of course, if you're a better cook than me, then you'll know that maybe you need a different temperature. But this is, this is how I'm doing it. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take the side that has the seasoning on it. Put it down. So that can be cooking. Open our window. Don't forget to open your window. Now we got this side up here. I'm kind of barbecue sauce on my thing. We got this side up here. So I'll already over here. Some more pepper. Again, you season at your own discretion whatever you like. Now, it suggests grill cooking should be 10 minutes on each side, okay? So, we're gonna say, because this isn't a grill, to shoot for like a 13 or 14 minute mark. That's where I ended up keeping it. Um, I'm going to put the lid on. We're going to let that cook probably for about 10 minutes on each side. Have it out of the pan. Everything is good. It's white all the way through. Now I just I, I possibly overcooked it a, a, just a tad bit because I don't have a pork or I don't have a meat uh, like a, a food thermometer. But it is hot, hot, hot all the way through. So I'm not going to get sick. But I would suggest having one. I got some at home. Just didn't bring them. But now let's make our potatoes. Go in our little handy dandy drawer here. Pull out our potatoes. Now the instructions say, and I've already read them, to microwave them, remove tray from package, peel back film, and put 
product in a microwave safe container. That's where this comes into play. So this bowl here, by the way, was one dollar, lid and all, from Dollar Tree. It is microwave and dishwasher safe. So, that's there, so you know. So now I want you to take these out of here. There's a bunch of them in here too. I think this was like four dollars at Walmart. Yeah, I could have cut my own potatoes and shit, but you know what? I'm not gonna do that in the truck. The whole point of these is to see what you can do that's easy in the truck. And then you just dump them into your dish. Okay. Microwave on high for four minutes. Easy enough. So as I said before, we're gonna we have them up in the microwave with in a microwave safe bowl. I, it doesn't tell me to put a lid on it or not, but I'm putting a lid on it, letting it sit on there just kind of lightly. See what that does. And then we're gonna put it in there for four minutes there it is finished product got the pork tenderloin and the garlic rosemary potatoes so in closing on how we made this so I took the pork tenderloin out of the pack I had just over a pound so it was just over a pound of pork I butterflied it, opened it up, laid it in the pan. And that some of it was thin, some of it was a little bit thicker, as you can see here. But what matters is that you just cook it the right amount of time, even if it means you got to take some of it out first. Because pork will make you very sick. So, you've got... What I did was I seared it on both sides for about five minutes a piece after I seasoned accordingly. And then you, once you flip them and cook it on both sides for five minutes, I put my lid on so it would keep a lot of that heat in there and it would use that to help cook it. And so I ended up doing it in total probably for about 10 more minutes on each side. But at some point about halfway through, I, I cut it as you saw to make it smaller pieces. First of all, so it's manageable. Second of all, it cooks, I feel like it cooks it a little bit faster. It could just be in my head. And then I was done. Just make sure that it's finished cooking. That's what matters most. And all of these pieces are quite finished, okay? So now we're gonna talk about the potatoes. Who That was very easy. And again, I'm gonna put this on here so you know what to look for. This is what it was. Roasted sea salt and black pepper potatoes. Resser's Main Street Bistro. And it was very easy. You can't cook it while you cook the 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 pork the pork because the microwave's not gonna allow it unless you have an extra inverter. I'm talking about our trucks have an 1800 watt inverter, so that's what that's what I'm basing all this on. I have a 700 watt microwave and I have a um, I have a 700 watt microwave and then I have a it's like a 1200 watt skillet. So, you're gonna cook these for four minutes after you're done with this. This needs to cool anyway. Cook these for four, well, I cooked it for five actually. Five minutes on the potatoes just to be safe and let it sit for a minute. And I just tried them and they are very tender. Let me see if I can get one. Very tender. It's like, you can see it just fell apart there. It's not, it's not hard or crunchy and it's delicious. There you have it folks. And for good measure, I went ahead and treated myself to a buttered croissant to go with it all. And I'm probably am going to put some Sweet Baby Ray's on it just because I, I think it's good on everything. But it can be done and it can be delicious. This is where I leave y'all. This is where I start eating when I just work hard for Y'all have any questions for me, I want you to ask them. Subscribe if you enjoy it. Like, dislike, comment, whatever you feel the need to do. 
Don't forget, Sunday we have that giveaway. So if you haven't sent me an email, do so. Let me know you want to be a part of it. I'm gonna uh, take care of this. Take care of these groceries. Until next time. Drive on, driver.